So we're here with the Bernard. So what does it make you think here to see uh, all the Google statues? Ah, this is really nice and it's also really nice that there's definitely no apple tree anywhere in range. <laughs> there's no but apples, it's right? pretty disappointing that the building has windows. <laughs> <laughs> this should be a building without windows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, oh, this looks like apple tree, no? A little. A little? <laughs> all right, so uh, it's been a week. Are you, have you been busy? Have you been sleeping at all at the Lenora Connect? A little. Not really last night because of the Fallout 4 update coming out and really wanting to get that going on older devices. But the days before were actually a little bit less stressful. What happened the days before? Yeah. So this was one of our regular Linux Connect conferences where in the morning we have several sessions about various topics. Um, concerned to Android engineering and regular Linux engineering, kernel bits, toolchain bits. In the afternoon it's generally hacking time. And obviously this being the only parts of the year where Linaro employees actually meet each other, there's lots to talk about. The new member, uh, new, uh, new, uh, new people on the team, the Android team? Uh, no really new people, but uh, Kazim has uh, fairly recently taken over running the Android team. But before was he wasn't at Linux at all, right? No, he's joining us from TI. And uh, so he's taking over after Zach? Yes. So is he doing things differently? Somewhat. It's interesting that uh, they're both really good guys. Zach tends to be a little more on the side of ah, this is great, we, uh, we have to go, uh, do this. And Kazim tends to be a bit more on the side of longer term planning. And I think this is actually a pretty good fit because Linaro is starting to grow and get a little more organized. So this seems to be a switch that is happening just around the right time. And, but uh, he was saying that uh, there's a whole bunch of things he would like, right, uh, to happen. And Linaro in general is uh, kind of refocusing again more on mobile than other stuff because it's important. Yes, yeah, mobile is definitely very important and it's one of the key th uh, things where ARM devices will be used. And our task is to keep Linux as well supported as possible on any ARM device at least any ARM device made by ARM members. So one of the cool things about having Lenar Connect just nearby here is uh, uh, there were some like cool discussions happening, right? Yeah, so the, uh, this was really interesting because for the first time ever we've had some Google people working on Android attending and we could talk to them about what our plans are, what their plans are see where we actually overlap, uh, where there's some workload we can share. So, can, can you try to explain to me uh, where does the work you do fit with Android? So there's a lot of things, uh, Linaro puts out its own monthly Android releases. So basically anything our team does goes into that tree first. And then, uh, depending on how it works out, we decide whether or not to send it upstream to Google Android. Most of it is actually sent right away. And our focus is on making improvements that are in some way related to ARM CPUs, but we also do some generic optimizations. One interesting topic that is just coming up is replacing the toolchain. Android is always built with a relatively old version of GCC, even Android 4.4 seems to be built with GCC 4.6, while the uh, Linaro builds are generally done with GCC 4.8. And recently we've also played around with uh, getting everything to compile with Clang, which is a totally different compiler that is part of the LLVM project. Currently GCC and Clang are about on par and this is not saying GCC is in any way bad, but it's always good to have several options. And it looks like 
the Google team is moving more and more towards Clang with stuff like RenderScript and the PNG already being built uh, with Clang in the Android source tree and other parts of the source tree will follow and we expect that sooner or later Android will be built completely with Clang and a lot of the work that is going on there has actually been done by Lenaro. So, uh, how has it been to talk with Google guys? That was really interesting because obviously uh, when you work on someone else's project a lot sometimes you wonder what were the, uh, those guys thinking when they did that or something else was really great and uh, how did they come up with that idea and obviously you also wonder where some things are going to be heading. One interesting thing is that the ideas we have for the projects seem to be very much in line. For example, I was doing a session on Tuesday about Android not always being in sync with uh, projects that are being pulled in. For example, I was complaining about the WebKit versions being outdated and things like that. And then just a couple of days later, there's the 4.4 release and we see WebKit has been replaced with Chromium WebKit, which is totally up to date. And a lot of other things have been pulled in and a lot of the concerns we've had before have actually been addressed there. In talking to the guys, we also know that some of the work that is going into the next release is pretty much in line with uh, optimizations that we were planning to do. So what are they saying to you? What do they think about Linaro? I think you need to ask them to get their opinion, but my impression is that they have seen what we are doing, they are interested in what we are doing, and they would like us to work closer to their tree instead of making our own releases, which is sometimes obviously a really good idea because um, sometimes when you are working on a version that has been released a couple of months ago, the internal tree has moved on. And any modification will just not work anymore on a newer version. But sometimes we also have to stay on a slightly older version because Sometimes Google does stuff in private repositories we don't have access to, so it's hard to see what they're doing and to continue doing things on top of code that we don't even have access to. So, uh, But for the most part this is working out these days. A lot of stuff is done in the open now more than before. Yeah. So uh, I'm wondering... Should why wouldn't Google be a member of Lenaro? Uh, that's a good question. Obviously, I think they should be one. <laughs> and if anyone at Google is seeing this, um, just contact Steve. He would definitely like to welcome you as a member. <laughs> so why would you think it would be good for them to join? Well, what would be different? It's always easier for us to work with members because uh, members have access to everything that is going on and it might also be easier for them to work with an organization they are actually a member of. It might be easier to convince people in management to uh, reveal some information about an upcoming release that is supposed to be a secret to an organization that they are actually part of than revealing it to some completely outside entity. So. Uh... So we'll see what happens, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> and uh, Android is still cool and it's getting better. Of course. It's the best it's... in the world. Yes. There's nothing I mean, you would rather work there's... on. Obviously there's some stuff that could be improved and sometimes I miss things about regular Linux, but at the same time when I'm working on regular Linux I miss some stuff about Android. So really the entire Linux world, including but not limited to Android, is really what everyone should be working on. <laughs> And uh, it would be good if you would be able to compile uh, Android on Android laptop. Yeah, that would really be interesting, especially because probably with ARC64 coming along, and it's not going to take that much longer before mobile phones and desktops 
will more or less converge into one so I can totally see that you just plug a keyboard into your phone and then use that as a desktop at some point. Could we do this before next Linaro Connect or two more Linaro Connects? So what do you think? Why is not yet? We can actually do this. The, um, unfortunately, I'm, I don't have all my equipment here, but at home I actually have a plug that can connect a Galaxy Nexus to any HDMI display and then you connect a Bluetooth keyboard, a Bluetooth mouse and essentially it works as a desktop. But of course some Android applications are really designed to work with a touch screen and working with them with a mouse and keyboard is slightly odd. And a lot of regular applications just don't exist on Android because it's meant for smaller devices. But this is another thing where future versions of uh, regular Linux and Android really should be converging. It would be really good if we could run regular Linux applications on Android and Android applications on regular Linux. There's always some work going on in that direction, but we are not completely there yet. So. One thing that I think is really amazing is, uh, I guess a secret, how many people work on Android, but your impression from the, the submissions you see, I don't know where you see those, is that uh, there's just not that many. Yeah, that's probably not that many people. If you look at the source code and you run git log, which, uh, which will show you what has been done and who has been doing it, it's always the same set of names that keep popping up. So like uh, dozens, and they maybe might all be working in this building. Yeah, it's entirely possible. I'd guess that it's around 100 people uh, internally, and obviously some people from the community who do not actually work here, who do not work uh, for Google. For example, people working at Linaro and people working on Cyanogen mod. But there's no way to really know exact numbers. <laughs> So imagine they open up for Android 5 and open up uh, dailies and, you know, let people see what happens in real time in this building. Uh, then overnight, there would be 100 times more people working on improving Android. That could be, uh, especially I think currently there's so many communities out there trying to build their own versions because they cannot really work with the upstream version. N I think those communities need to get together. So, uh, some of this can already be done for uh, every community, including ourselves, should make a better effort at upstreaming patches and at tracking upstream releases and also looking at what those other communities are doing, uh, where we can share workloads. But obviously that would be easier if everything was totally open and if there just was no internal tree, but I hope that's eventually going to happen, but it might not. <laughs> <laughs>